Hey guys, it's Mac. Welcome to the YouTube channel, and today we are going to create this cool, elegant fashion sale post design for social media in Adobe Illustrator. You can modify and use this design for e-commerce advertisement purpose. So let's jump right into it. All right here we are in Adobe Illustrator with a square artboard I'll be working on. If you want to follow along, simply go to File and create a new artboard. Enter any square dimensions, set the units to pixels, and make sure that the color mode is set to RGB. So once you've done that, simply hit OK, and you'll have a square artboard like this. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a nice background layer for our design. Select the rectangle tool and create a square equal to the size of the artboard. Zoom into the corners and make sure that everything lines properly. So now we are going to change the color of this layer. I'm going to use this dark color for my background which is 0E1011. It is somewhat close to black, but it's not pure black color. Simply copy the hex code for this color and paste it in your layers color picker and hit OK. So now we are going to add an image for our background. If you want to download the images, check the link in the video description and download these project files. Drag this grayscale model picture in your design and adjust it accordingly on the canvas. Just like this. Now this image is looking very prominent and we don't want that. So what you can do is you can simply decrease its opacity to around 40% and this will nicely blend the image with the background layer. So the background layer is finally complete. Select both the shape and image, go to Object, and lock the selection. Now we can work freely without disturbing our background. So next we need to create some design elements to make things more eye-catchy. Select the good old rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle just like that. So now we need to apply some gradient on this shape. Open the gradient panel from here, and if you don't see any gradient panel, simply go to Windows and open the gradient panel from here. Now select the rectangle shape and click here to activate the gradient, and then click here to reverse the color. Select the gradient tool and adjust the angle according to your own preference. and also adjust the color. Now this color is not looking very good at the moment, so we are going to apply this nice foreground color to our rectangle which is A9C2D3. Copy the hex code for this color. Select the rectangle shape. Double click on the gradient slider. Make sure RGB mode is selected and paste the hex code right there. Follow the same steps for the second slider and apply the color. So once you've done that, click on this slider and decrease its opacity to zero. Now click on the second slider and decrease its opacity to around 50%. Now we have a nice faded rectangle. And you can adjust the shape according to your preference. And you can also adjust the gradient as you like. Now we will create a copy of this shape. Press and hold the Alt key and click and drag to create a copy just like this. Now adjust the shape according to your design and do some other modifications. Now create another copy of the shape and place it at the bottom. 
Adjust the height of the shape and decrease the overall opacity to 30% so that it's not very focused. So now our little design elements are complete. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our main image on top of this design. Drag the model image in Illustrator and place it. It's a pretty high resolution image, so you need to adjust it on the artboard. Now we don't want this full image to be displayed. So once more select the rectangle tool and create a big rectangle on top of your design. Don't worry about the color of this rectangle because it's not going to be visible at all. So once you are satisfied with the shape, select both the rectangle and the model image, go to Object, and make a clipping mask. Now adjust the image according to the shape. Open the Layers panel, expand the clipping group, select the clipping shape, and adjust it according to the available space. Now select the image from the Layers panel and adjust it in a similar way. Just to make sure that it's properly visible through the clipping mask. You don't need to be very quick in doing so. Just take your time and adjust everything. So now we need to add some more shapes on top of this clipping mask. Select the Rectangle tool once more and create one on top of this mask. Click here to apply a stroke to this rectangle and then increase the stroke value to around 4 or 5. Adjust its position and change its color to something prominent. I'm going to use this bright yellow shade for this rectangle, which is F, F, E, A, 0, 0. Copy the hex code. Select the rectangle. Open the stroke color picker and paste the color code. So now our design is slowly coming to life. Once you're done with the shape adjustment, it's time to add our main headline text. Select the Type tool and write your headline. I'm going to use Poppins as my primary typeface, but you can use any decent font family. Change the text color to white and place it on the right side of your design. Also make sure that your text is right aligned because we will place the headline on the right side. Decrease the text size according to your design and make final adjustments. Now create a copy of this text and write the remaining headline. You might notice that the leading is too much between the headline text. So in order to adjust that, open the Characters panel and adjust the leading value as desired. Now increase the font weight to around semi-bold or bold. And also adjust the size to make it a bit larger than the other text. If the letting value is disturbed, once more open the Characters panel and adjust it. Now we will apply some shadow to make it more prominent. Go to Effect, Stylize, and Drop Shadow. Adjust the values according to your preferences and hit OK. So now our headline is looking a bit decent than it was before. Make some final adjustments and also adjust the size of the text.
Now we will add the same bright color to this headline that we've used earlier. Copy the hex code. Select some part of your headline. Open the color picker and paste the code. So now you can see that our headline is going to grab the viewer's attention. Similarly, copy the text from headline and write some additional information that might be helpful for the viewer. You can write any discount offer or anything that might benefit your business and the user as well. Just take your time to make adjustments. Make sure that everything is aligned to the right. The background shapes can also be adjusted if the helpful text is taking too much space on the design. Now we are done with the text part of our design. So now we are going to add more small shapes to give our design a more elegant look. Select the line tool from the toolbar and draw a small line at the bottom, just below the helpful text. Apply a white stroke color to this line and increase the stroke value to 3 or 4. Once you are satisfied with the stroke value, create a copy of this line, rotate it to 90 degrees, and place it on top of your main model image. Just like that. Now zoom in on your design. Select the Type tool and simply write a plus symbol. Increase its weight to semi-bold. Then right-click on this symbol and create outlines. Change its color to white and place it somewhere like this. Scale it down to make it a bit smaller. Hold down the Alt key and click and drag to create some copies and make some final adjustments. Now create one more copy of this symbol. Make it a bit larger than the others and rotate it to 45 degrees. Click here to swap the fill with stroke and adjust its position like this. Do some final modifications and also increase the stroke value as desired. Once you are satisfied, create some more shapes here at the bottom left corner. Select the ellipse tool and create a circle by holding down the shift key. Adjust the size of this circle and create some extra copies. Right click on the circle, transform, and transform each. Change the horizontal value to around 30 pixels and create a copy. Now press Ctrl D to repeat this step several times. Select all these circles. Once more transform and transform each. But this time, set the horizontal value to 0 and vertical value to 30 pixels and create a copy. Once more press Ctrl D to repeat this step. Select all these shapes and decrease their opacity just a little bit and place them to a corner like this.
Now the design is almost complete, but the last thing we're gonna add is the brand logo. I'm using this random logo for my design, but you can use any other logo that you want. Simply drag your logo in your design and place it at the top right corner. Scale it down to make sure it's not very large. So our design is finally complete, and this is how you can create a cool e-commerce sale post for your social media advertisement. Press the like button and don't forget to subscribe for upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.